Joshua. When are you popping the question? <laughs> everybody welcome back to the channel we are back again with yet another Q&A answering your questions and I'm so excited that you guys participated via YouTube so we're gonna get right on into it because there are quite a bit of questions you, that you guys asked so I guess the first one is what do you think of each other's friends Josh really hasn't met any of my friends it's, it's uh the so True, it's the pandemic going on. Mm -hmm. I will say this, I hang out with my family. My cousins are truly my best friends and because of the pandemic, we really haven't been able to get together. A lot of them live in DC, Tampa, Brandon lives in Texas. So they're all spread out. But have you met Dominique? No, he hasn't met Dominique. But you know, we haven't seen each other because you know, COVID happened. Josh's friends, I've only met like two of his friends. Mike, which I think is kind of hilarious. He's really talkative, seems really good hearted. And Megan, his roommate, I like her too. She's really smart. Yeah, I like, I like them. No issues with the friends. Nope, gotta meet some first. <laughs> the second question, these are from Veronica Daly, by the way. The second question is, have you discussed marriage? Um, not really. Nah. <laughs> Wait a minute now. I mean, she told me besides rings she wore, it's about, <laughs> about far the discussion got so far. Yeah. What size ring do I wear? Five. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So the next question from Veronica is, do you want children? Josh, I'm gonna let you answer that question. First, I mean, if we did have them, I wouldn't complain. If we didn't, I wouldn't complain either way. I'm, I'm either way. I would like to have them. If I didn't have them, it's, it's still fine with me. Um, you know what? I go back and forth with that. Sometimes I'm, I'm just like I have baby fever. I'll, I'll go ahead and admit that. Like two days ago, I was like, yeah, I want a kid. Today, I'm like, not so much. It just depends. It really does. So, uh, do I want children? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's a good question. Good answer. Good answer. The next question. Are you both on the same page about finances? Who's better with money? You think I'm better with money? Yeah. I think that, I don't know. Oh, oh well, you, have, you have good credit. I have good credit. Finances, we pay our bills on time and stuff like that. I think I'm more visual, so I like to write my stuff out. I'm really on top of my finances. But you do like, you got like, you do stocks and all that stuff too, so I would say you're more. Yeah. You're more financial. I, 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 I tend to think about the future and my goal is to be financially independent early to mid 40s so yeah I try to save as much as I can I do kind of go out of my way sometimes but um I think you're kind of good with finances like that too I mean I'm not I'm not bad with are you are you more money fluid do you spend money just just just, just, just willy-nilly or I mean no I mean, I'm only Spend money on a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, you have a good amount of, in your savings. Yeah, but I'm not, I mean, I don't, yeah, I'm saying I don't go out like just like, oh, I want this, I want that. No, I don't do stuff like that. Do you budget? Are you a budgeter, man? I'm not a budgeter. No? I mean, I know what I have to pay each month. It gets paid and then everything else goes in a bank account. And then if I need something, I buy something pretty much. I'm very picky at what I buy, so I don't buy, I don't spend Yes, money. he is very picky. Oh my goodness. So, okay, so that's actually a good question because we don't really talk about finances like that. So, you put money away in your savings. Every paycheck. Money goes into my checking and savings every paycheck. Okay. So. Okay. I can deal with that. And I got 401k. Oh, that's good stuff too. I 
put 10% of my paycheck in there. High so. five. That's a good percentage. 10% to your 401k is a really good percentage, actually. You do more than me, I put 8%. I gotta up my game. The next question, which one of you is the laziest? You think so? I think it depends on what it is. I'm, I'm lazy as if, as in like, I don't really like to go places. Josh is more a person who likes to go up and out and about. Minus right here, because he's about to go to sleep. And I'm more of a person who will get up and clean. Like, I have to have a, a clean house. So, it really depends on what it is. Next question. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I have quite a few. I do not have any. When are you gonna get my a body is a temple. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna get my face tatted on your back, man? No, put on No? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Who gets jealous the most? <laughs> I wouldn't say I get jealous. I'm just protective. Mm -hmm. I got you. Whatever way you want to put it. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> All right, so these questions are from Tracy Good. What are some sayings or phrases that you both say to one another? Um, I say you're stuck with me a lot, because he's stuck with me. Yep, you say that a lot. A lot. We're gonna stick with, you're stuck with me. Okay. Have you had your first argument yet? I wouldn't say an argument, maybe a disagreement. Yeah. Are you, what, what, what's an argument? What is the argument? A disagreement? Or like screaming and yelling? I mean, argument had to be screaming and yelling, but I mean. We've had disagreements. Everybody has disagreements. Not, not we, didn't, we didn't argue over like, this is mine, this is yours. That kind of stuff. That's an argument, you know? No, then no. We haven't had that type of disagreement before. So I guess no arguments, not yet. Stay huh. tuned. Sit, stay tuned. Stay tuned. They're, they're on the way. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so these are from Annie. Josh, who taught you how to cook? Myself. Me, myself, and I. Your dad taught you. My dad didn't teach me how to cook. My dad don't know how to cook. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> my dad talked you up. My dad didn't know how to cook. <laughs> my mom knows how to cook, but she only knows how to cook certain things. Like, the stuff I make, she doesn't know how to cook. So you're self-taught, basically. I mean, I worked at restaurants and stuff, so I learned stuff from there, too. Mm -hmm. so. How many siblings do you have? Two. I have an older brother and an older sister. Josh is a young Teneroni. He always, oh, he, that's a saying. You always say I, I, I robbed the cradle. Yeah, you do. You did. You got me. A couple months. No, nah, a couple years. I'm trying to play. <laughs> please. Mm -hmm. I'm still 25. I don't know what you're Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Please. Next question. What's y'all's favorite vacation spot? Never really been anywhere. Yeah, we haven't really been anywhere together, like actual vacation vacation. But mm -hmm. I guess the, mm -hmm. yeah. the only I mean, place we've been were all in Virginia, so. Yeah. I don't know. Um, the first place that we went uh, in Timberville, the tiny house, that was nice. I like the A-frame um, spot that we went to that was really beautiful. It was in the middle of nowhere, so. That might have taken my number one spot for our favorite vacation, for my favorite vacation spot that we've been to together. No? Yeah, I like that. It was in the, in the woods. Next question is, Ashley, what do you do for work? I am in workforce management. So this question's from MZ Joshua. When are you popping the question? Well, you know, I tell you that, then she would know. So yeah, it has to be a surprise. Surprise, but I mean, you can't it's, know it's before I know. Down, I can see it. I can see it down the future, as long as everything keeps going the way it goes now. Good but answer. That's... Next question. Uh, it's Caroline asked, "Is Josh the one?" I think so. Like he said, as long as as long as it keeps going the way it's going now. <laughs> Yeah, I love Josh, he's my baby. Uh, this is from Lynn. 
Are you okay with each other having friends of the opposite sex? Um, I don't care. I haven't, I ha he hasn't shown me anything that makes me not want him to have friends of the opposite sex. So I don't, that doesn't bother me. So no. I have no problem with it. Yeah. This is also a question from Caroline. It says, how has the interracial couple thing played out in your relationship so far? It hasn't really played out any way. It's, we just have a normal relationship. I I it's a little different from any other relationship I really had. Right. I don't yeah. see anyone like looking at us. But then again, I don't look for people to look for us, if that makes sense. So um, there have been a couple comments on our videos, but I delete real fast because I don't like that negativity. Other than that, like, I don't care. And technically, she's 29% European. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, I did my ancestry. And I am definitely not what I thought I was. Mm -hmm. It's, more it's pretty Euro neat. More European than anything. It's um, it's interesting, just to say that. Oh, this is a, another question from Lynn. And this is actually the last question. It says, have you ever gone through each other's phone? Josh? I've not gone through your phone. You've never gone through my phone? I'm not going on your phone. I haven't gone through the phone, no. Yeah, I've made a, an effort to not go through his phone. I haven't felt the need to, so no, I haven't. <laughs> Maybe I should. You can. Since somebody named Brandon. Oh, I'm here we go. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Since you want to bring it up, Joshua. I'm so joking. old flames do occasionally hit me up. Do they text me? No, because they're blocked. But they do reach out on social media, and I let and I all if something like that happens, I, I let them know. You let me know. I let you know about Brandon. I think I saw it on your phone. I was like, who's this? It was like, you were on your phone. It was like a whole, it bunch, was on of, Facebook. A whole bunch of messages from no. some guy named Brandon. And I was like, hey, who's this Brandon? And you're like, oh, actually, he's, he's an ex of mine. I said, oh, that's cool. But was that, did I, you, you saw the messages. Did I respond back? I, did, I didn't look that hard into the messages. So far. Now what you mad? I didn't really. I mean, I didn't, I didn't look into your phone. I just seen it when you were looking. And that's all I looked. You know. Well, I, I know you could have deleted your messages and just had his messages. But why would I delete it if you, if I never thought that you would go through my phone? I don't know. Right. There's no need to delete anything. Yeah, social, yeah. But anyhow, so no. Yeah, women are the, sneaky. To, like that. Women are sneaky. Mm -hmm. Really? So you taking it there on the Q and A? You taking it there on the Q and A, yeah. Joshua? Y'all smarter than men, so y'all know how. I will agree with that. Y'all know how to hide it better. I will agree with that, but there's nothing to hide. I, I love know. you, man. Give I me a kiss. That's why I want everybody to knows about you. I know. <laughs> As they should. As they should. That's another saying she says all the time. <laughs> uh, you kind of adopted that. I know. So yeah, I, I be you know turning turning him on to new catchphrases. He's come, he's becoming like me. I want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, okay, so yeah, the the answer to that is we've never gone through each other's phones. I've never felt the need to go through his phone, and but you know if he wants to go through mine, he can. He he has the opportunity because he has my password, and vice versa. So that was the end of the questions and um. What's that mean? What's that? Deuces. Deuces? We're not finished yet, Joshua! Oh, you said that was the end of the question, so <laughs> that's where it's going. See? We gotta end it. Uh, that's what I thought we were see, doing. See, y'all, see, we gotta get them straight. But no, yeah, this that was the end of the questions. I really appreciate everyone who participated. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did you have, did you have fun, Josh? I had a great time. <laughs> we had a great time, as Josh would say. Yeah, we didn't even sip on our drinks. Josh made us some drinks prior to. Mm -hmm. uh, you believe in wearing lipstick? Yep, I do. I believe in overdressing. Bam. That's what the, the cups say. Anywho, again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you next time. Now you, now you can say deuces. 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 <laughs>